What would you do if money were no object? Would you play sport full time? Would you be a marine scientist, an aid worker, a cook? And could you do it for free? Maybe you could if that was your dream job. But what if you had to work for no pay or for very little pay just to be considered for any job? Well, we've spoken to three young job seekers about what it takes to break into the job market and how that'll influence their vote. Ruby Bisson has landed on her feet. But this 22-year-old from Campbelltown has had a gruelling road to full-time work. What are you up to? For a long time I was uh, studying at Wollongong University and working full-time in retail. I was catching a train two hours to get to work and back. After graduating, Ruby took on an internship as a writer and social media coordinator for an employment website aimed at young people. But lawyers warn of pitfalls. We're seeing people with such little bargaining power, they just accept whatever they're offered because I think it's a foot in the door and there's very few safeguards around it. People aged under 25 account for 10% of all eligible voters. Of them, 12% are unemployed, another 16% are underemployed and looking for more work. At the same time, the cost of living is going up and so factor in things like housing, transport, daily expenses such as food on top of the costs of education and suddenly interning for very little pay or even no pay at all seems a lot more burdensome. Nursing student Hayley Chandler struggles to fund her unpaid hospital placements. I'm kind of having to work extra hard in the, in the break or try and pick up extra hours before placement or find other avenues in which I can work in order to fund the costs such as parking, uniform, immunisations. In frustration, she started an online petition calling for paid placements. It now has 25,000 signatures. I've spoken to everyone and they said, Hayley, you know, I agree with your petition. I'd just be happy with $5 an hour, just something to get me by. Narari Dasho is a qualified computer technician. As a Syrian refugee, he spent 12 months looking for work. Narari says he feels lucky. He now works at Dolby Sound Lab, where his previous experience is valued. A lot of refugees have experience of 10 years and more than 10 years in different professions. And uh, they struggle with the same reason. So to sign up, you suddenly just go to post your resume. Narari has co founded a startup called Refugee Interns. He's hoping to help others like him to get a foot in the door, even if it means sometimes working for free. I just start like my life here. I already lost everything in my country. I would like to have a job here. Keep going, keep applying for any job. Don't, don't give up. Ruby Bisson says today's job seekers understand that unpaid work is part of the equation. Everyone's angry about it, but there are no other options, so what can we say? We want to get our dream jobs. Meanwhile, Hayley Chandler's taking her petition to the federal government and hoping in an election year, Canberra takes notice.